everyone peace love and light so it's a beautiful beautiful hot morning i'm out here walking a dog but i just wanted to bring awareness to people who are um to people who are confused about belief systems our belief systems is not um something that 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 necessarily divides us um it's only because we feel divided only because it was raised Christians. A lot of us, majority of Americans was raised Christians. We was all raised Christians. We was dragged into Christianity. We, it wasn't a choice for us. You know, everything is a choice. Everything. We have the power to make our own choices, to make our own um, decisions on what we're going to believe in this world, what we're going to stand on. And it's only one God only one God. So as long as you, your belief system is positive and is bringing you positive results and everything and is heightening your intuition and you know, you are doing great. There's only one God. We are all God's children. Our belief systems does not um, define us. You know, it, it only helps us with our faith. It only helps us with our faith and our spirituality. We absolutely have our own choice to do our own research on what we want to believe in. Um, as children, we was we didn't have a choice to study different religions and study different belief systems. We didn't have that choice. We we automatically was dragged to church by our grandmas, our mothers, or maybe our aunties. We didn't have no choice but to get into Christianity. And that was a miss. That was still a misunderstanding to them as well, because they was raised the same way. You know, they didn't have no choice. Um, but we have a choice. It's absolutely okay with studying different religions to see what you can resonate with, what helps you more, and what brings you what what strengthen your what strengthens your faith and your in your spirituality what what you can really feel comfortable in like me i was raised in a christian family i was raised in a christian family um but now in these ages i grew to actually do my own research and study these different religions different belief systems and i absolutely 1000 percent resonate with the african tradition and i'm sticking with it because i love it <laughs> And for those of you who still study good Christianity, it is absolutely okay. I respect every belief system there is because all of us are literally saying the same thing just in different context. It's different words they are using. But every all of the religions and spirituality originated from the ancient Egypt, <clears throat> from from Africa. So the the source comes from Africa. It comes from ancient Egypt. So where I go, I go to African traditions. In the African traditions, it teaches us about who we really are, who I am, who you are, you know. And the, the Christian belief system, you know, um, I it's a lot of truths in Christian Christianity. And I, I super still love Christianity with the gospel and the sermons and everything. But, um, you know, I just really feel that all of my gifts, my spiritual gifts, comes from the tradi the African tradition. And the African traditions made me feel so welcome. It makes me feel in place. It makes me feel at home. And your 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 belief system should make you feel at home. It should make you feel welcome. It it, it shouldn't make you feel like you're walking on eggshells. That's not what God put us here to feel, you know. Um but yeah, you have a choice to to study. When you practice um, a certain type of religion, you study a certain type of religion, it is not for you to force it on someone else because you study in it. This is not what it's about. You can study Buddhists. You can study uh, Catholic. You can study Christianity. You can study African tradition. You can study any belief system out there. As long as you feel complete with that belief system, go ahead. Feel free. But there's only one God. 
that we all have to bow down to and think and pray to. There is only one God. Our belief system does not make us feel better than the next the next person who are practicing another belief system. We are not to force it on somebody else. We are not to look at somebody else differently or demonize them because they are not studying your belief system. This is your belief system. This is your study. This is what you are perceiving, you know. Everybody, how everybody perceives things is not the way you perceive things. You cannot force everybody, anybody to trust and believe your belief system. You have to let them do their own research. You have to let them make their own decisions. And this is how we come together because our differences brings us together. We cannot survive on the same belief system. It could, but we not. This is understanding that we all need to remember and it's an understanding that we all need to realize like there's not only just christianity there's other belief systems out there that people are striving on and and people are really really diving deep into it's not just christianity even although there's majority of christianity because because that's what we was dragged into. We was never taught to make our own choices. We was never taught to study our own different belief system to see what we are comfortable with, to see what what brings us peace, love, and 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 build our faith and spirituality. We was never taught that. It was forced on us. So it's important that you do your own research instead of just automatically judging someone for for studying a different belief system. It's not fair. It is not fair to you or to the person that you are judging. It is not fair because this is not what we was here for, to divide us because we have different belief systems. This is what this is what is dividing us and we shouldn't feel the division. We should come together, reunite and and and, and just learn from each other and love each other and spread kindness. Peace, love and light.